Hi guys, so today we're going to look at Unwrap UVW and what the Unwrap UVW modifier lets us do is assign mapping texture coordinates to objects. So if we looked at this cube for example and say we wanted to turn it into a dice we'd want to add spots and we need to somehow tell 3ds Max where we want to have this spot. So if we want to have it here and we want to have three spots here we need a way of mapping coordinates onto this object and that's where unwrap UVW comes in. So I'm going to use this lamp in this example. The first thing you're going to want to do is break up the lamp as much as possible. So I've, I've pretty much done that apart from this top bit here and I just want to quickly show you a cool tool in editable poly where you can just select, say we just select these bottom faces, we can just hit grow and that's just going to grow until we reach the seam we want. So if we go too far we can use shrink but that's pretty good and now we can detach. So let's take a look at the, the main arm. Um, I'm just going to isolate that and now the first thing we're going to do, I've created this texture which you can download in the resources section. Um, it's, it's pretty much a standard checkerboard map but we've put the alphabet and numbers on it so we can make sure it's the right way up and we'll be able to locate coordinates a lot easier rather than if it was just black and white. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop that onto our object. Press an F4 now to hide our wireframe so we can see it a bit better. And just in the material editor, let's grab it and see, see how it looks. Cool, so that's how we want it to look. We want to make sure that it's broken up into squares. So let's add an unwrap UVW. And already you can see the textures being projected on there a bit better. And the first thing we want to do is just break off these end caps. So I'm going to open up the UV editor. And with polygon selected, I'm just going to select that poly and the bottom poly. And then here we've got break, so we'll break them off. And we'll just move them to one side for now. And now we're left with our main structure. Now I want us to select this inside edge. This is probably the this is where the seam is going to be. So you want to put this in the most inconspicuous space possible because it's likely that you will see some well a seam. So you'd see the start and the end of the texture. So I've selected this this edge I'm just going to hit loop here and again I'm going to hit break so now we've got the seam around the edges here and where this purple line is and now we can select by element by turning this on and we'll just select all of this arm and I'm going to hit peel which is down here and if we just turn on the checkerboard and press F2 so it's not shaded we can see what's happened that's kind of looking good we are going to want to rotate this so it's straight all right so we can see that that's actually bending quite nicely around the curve but the only problem is when we reach what is this J K 11 you can see it starts distorting so this is quite easily solved. We can select vertex, grab this, we'll make sure we turn off at, um, select element, just grab them bottom ones and we can just pull them down. So we just want to make sure they're the same size squares as the rest of them, so something like that looks pretty good. And that's how we unwrap UVW. So now if we add our brushed gold material you'll see that our brush strokes actually curve nicely around the curve. Download the grid texture and have a go and any questions just let me know. Thanks very much.